Welcome to Dober, ladies and gentlemen, and your ugly mother bump. We got a scrub in the building, Mr. Paints. Hey, what's up, guys? You didn't make it this season one. Didn't make it, um. We, uh, had some budget issues and, uh. Figured that I would spend some more time in the commentating booth, but, uh, haven't found enough time to do that, so. Now, uh. Instead of being on the truck, I'm, in the, I'm in the booth with, uh, James. To your car. Yep. And, wow. Oh, Jeff Gordon, guys. Just not raced as much as he did. You're a Jeff Gordon, anyways. But Ryan Long, a rookie, or not, was it Ryan? It's Rusty Long, excuse me, will take the pole. Adam Wolf will take second. Bobby Bones, Zachary Fitzwater. Andrew Wobble, Raymond Fisher, Bob Markell, Philip Goldberg, Big Gerhardt, and tenth is Kevin Mulcher. That rounds up your top ten. Fun. All right. Would you give us some uh, interesting facts about this racetrack, Peyton? Uh, this is the notorious track known as the Monster Mile with its tough turns. You always see the driver usually spin out in the D turn three and four. Right. Uh. You can't yeah. get away from it. Yeah, can you can't get away Drivers. from it. Uh, so, Notorious crashes a couple years ago, back in 09, Joey Logano flipped his car. That was beautiful. Everyone the... likes Logano. Wink, wink. Yep. Well, we got that Golden Corral up there in the Yeah, it doesn't look that shit. I'll give it that. Yeah. But yeah. See these, uh, last it's, time... Uh, that Golden Crow car stays in the top 10, guys. Be sure to go to Golden Crow, get some free food, whatever. Remember, everyone likes Kevin Harvick's Nightmare. Please do it. Enjoy. Just make my dream come true. Alright, here they come out of turn number two here. Hey, this car tonight is from Dodge, the old Dodge Charger. Why NASCAR hasn't decided to use the brand new Charger, the world may never know. But they did reveal the Gen 6 version for no reason. Oh, that's just the developers who love Dodge. I think they forgot about they are not sponsored by Dodge anymore. Well. Where's the along? If, oh, yeah. These people are Hendry affiliates. These front two. So, interesting fact. As the pace car dies at the pit road, Dover fan, get on your feet, scream happy for Golden Corral. We're going racing at Dover. Green flag. Very off to a great start here. Seven car leads the field into turn number one here. There goes that 38 loves car, gonna make the move and we'll take second place from the 44. Moving up to the outside. Oh, we got a wreck in the back. I heard. Oh, we got a caution. What's going on? I heard a turn. Here, comes the, here we go, comes the flag. Rusty Long leads it back to the line. Whoa! That 19 almost had a moment. Almost had one indeed. Let's see what happened. We have it. We had a car spin out. They'll say the 51 and uh, the 31 to Kim Mark Allen, Cameron Shine. Let's go back and find a lot of tire marks in the back straightaway there. Let's sign out exactly what happened here. Looks like the 51 had hood damage. Yeah, 51 may have gotten there. You go. Looks like here. Let's see what happened. Looks like that 51 trying to make a move. Um, actually, no, I think the 31, it may looks like, it go back once. Right. I think the 10 car went up, went up high and pushed the 31, oh, maybe. Oh, Here, just got, got to the wall by the looks of it, the 51, got squeezed up. Looks like the 31 just went into the 51, I didn't see him hit the wall there. That's Aaron Wobble. Anyway, the 10 car just was a victim of that. He's right behind. This is our Daytona 500 champion of season four, Damien Walter. Not having a great run so far after that big Daytona win. He's just been going downhill so far this season. That's 17. Let's find the bridesmaid of the Daytona 500. Is going to catch up with Peyton. You're going to be surprised. I'm going to be surprised. Yep. Because that was Raymond Fisher, the bridesmaid of the 500. Oh wow. Yeah, he was so close to winning it for the first time, but... Couldn't. Sporting the Chase Elliott team? Yeah, he's not had a great run with so far. Only has one win at Martinsville. Two-time Martinsville winner is Raymond Fisher. Yep, driving the fifth... 
the car for Hendrick Motorsports after the NASCAR Sim Racing Organization announced that the option for a fifth car was added, and now teams have been taking advantage of it so far. Hendrick's the only team right now, I think, who has a full-time fifth car. Yep. And uh, potentially other teams next year have announced that they may add a fifth car, such as Joe Gibbs Racing, but that has not been fully determined yet. We'll find out if new Youngbloods will take over the teams. Daniel Suarez, probably. Mm-hmm. Eric Jones is making a little appearance in there. Hopefully, he might make a run. I believe that I, I feel like he's a little too young yet. His immaturity, I feel like, because really. When, uh, after uh, let me Charlotte, think. Kyle Busch drove the five car. Hmm. He was 18. Hello. You had to look at the Charlotte race um, uh, for the truck series. After the way he was, he reacted to it. It looked like he was just. A little immature for that, for that, for that loss. He's just mad. Hey. He's a fucking crybaby. Just think of Kyle Busch. He drives for fucking Kyle Busch. Yeah. Also, well, speaking of Kyle Busch, he, he has a new son. How about Gibbs. that? It's just vision of Joe Gibbs. Got the 27 Menards car in there. Bob Markell. Looking good. It's interesting how the Menards team is stuck with Paul Menard every year. But if I get a sponsor, his space car rolls in. Rusty along. His parents own Menards, actually. That's a fun fact. Wow. Pace cars in. Green flag is out. We're racing. Seven car will lead the field here. Single file is here. Oh, 44 making a move on the inside. Trying to look. And we'll make a move on the 27. Will he complete the pass? He will. Here we go with that 22 car. We're coming up the field here. 20 bone. Here comes Daniel Boyles. The young blood of the Hendrick Motorsports organization right now has Making already had. Oh, I heard a spin. Is that a caution? No. Oh no, we do have Three a wreck. Cars round. Three car, Cameron Blake. No caution. No caution yet. And Raymond Fisher, Fisher battling the 11 of Philip Goldberg. And the 11's making a move on the six there. I think a little too close for comfort there as they had turn number four. Here Still three flat. Evans. Nephew, In the back, back there, that 88 car made a pass on the 41. Yep, Mason Powers. There's Jason T Turner. Jesse Turner, excuse me, he is the, uh, the points leader right now. Driving for Richard Petty. Yep. It's James, always nice driving for a legend. There is your defending series champion, James Bowles. Top story of the race. He hasn't had a win yet this season. Well, that changed this race. Remember back to season two where he had a shitty season with the 41 side to go back to Hendrick Motorsports and decided to win the championship there. Peyton? Yes. Okay. Sorry, huh? I thought I lost you. Zoned out there, no. Seven car still leading here. The 38 car is now in second place, followed by the 47 and the 44. Yeah, have two Walpole brothers out there, too. Yeah. Interesting is they've they've been having they've been getting better every every year it appears those two brothers. Yep. Kenneth That's Harvey. Yeah. He has two wins last season. Chicago Land, Miami, driving the 88. But this season he moves down to the 24. Always a great opportunity to drive a number that was driven by one of the legends of NASCAR, Jeff Gordon. Or was he? He'll probably be in the Hall of Fame. I bet 100% he will. He will make it into the Hall of Fame. He's, he's won every race except one, which is I believe that was Kentucky because that. Oh, cautions out. Cautions out. Where is the wreck? Oh, we oh got it. boy! And where did we? Where are we paying attention at, huh? A lot of cars around. 51 is back involved. Yeah. Appear. We had also a lead change as well. I don't know. Unknown. Looks like the seven car may still have a lead. also involved again. Let's find out what happened here. 88 was involved too, surprised. And it appeared. Oh, okay. Let's see if we're gonna slow mo back here. So, looked like that the. Th I think. Hold on. Go back. Go back. Go back. I think 
that 46 car may have had something to do with the 88. Looks like he made contact with the no, 88. A bit. Looks like the 88 got contact with the 31. The 46, I think he made a big save there. He did. Man. But what a shame though, because that 10 car and you know got put around to another wreck once again, and so is that 51 as well. 31 as well. Look at that. Oh god, hard hit for the 51. He's just a stand bystander. And look at you, Peyton. Your old ride. My old ride, yeah. Eric Benson. You gave this guy an opportunity to drive your old car. Not doing too good, huh? He's, he needs to do better. But, uh. What? Or else, what will happen if he doesn't? <laughs> You're gonna fire him? Nah, I don't own the team. Oh. It's getting assy. Right. I got, I got my own team consisting of that 44, 54, 69, 7 cars, but. Those are not, they are not this series, but another series. Ah. But later. Maybe we'd like to get that 69 car out there. We'd like to get that out there in the Baja series, but, uh... Are you really gonna say 69 car? Oh, uh, well, it is a 69 car. I mean, I gave you the file, didn't I? Oh! Yeah! I think I, think I did. You, you know what it looks like. It's, it's got Starbucks on it. It's a female driver, too. Female driver that... that <laughs> 69 car, car really? 69, she chose nice. a number. I, at this time, I didn't even know what it meant. And I'm um, looking at him like, all right, so I just did 69. And then it wasn't until You'll see. Birth. You'll see when you're holding up, buddy. Three car. <laughs> three car, four laps down. Starts in the front row. Retired 51 car now is on the racetrack. Rusty Long's been dominating this race so far. Will, this, will it continue as we go back under green? Green flag, that 47. 47. Was looking, so is the 22. 47 makes a dive bomb to the inside. That three oh, might be an held issue. up by that three car. And they come down the back straight away. Yeah, that three car is falling back. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. This will be interesting. A lot of action still going on here. Yeah, Bobby Bowen's still on the leader. This thing has not been changed. The, the seven lead most of all the laps today. What does that say? 80 laps or 50 laps? 60. 60. I was way off. You're looking at 69. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Raymond funny. Fisher coming up the field now. Yeah, like him. Uh oh. Can you make a move? Will he make the move? And Not so. Do it. Walpole Brothers badly. It's the seven car game. What's the, is it front? No. It's, seven is Tommy Baldwin, right? Yeah. yeah. So is the 46 car of Michael and I think. No, no, no. 46 is uh, uh, Harry Scott. Oh, caution's out. Caution's out. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, car oh, three car Oh, oh the Daytona 500 champion involved. Not a great day, he'll have to be going into pit road there, the car is smoking. Pit stops might happen this race. This, uh, lap pit stops may happen, yes. Mm. Let's take a look at what happened. Monster Mile have already claimed so many victims, and claims even, and claims also victims who have already been attacked already, and taking them out for a second round. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So it looks like it's over by the one car in the... Oh, oh Jesus oh, oh, he's Christ! On his Wow, James Bowles, you haven't seen him? Look at this. Made contact with the three car. Oh, Lauren's a hard hit for uh, the three car. Hard hit there. Upside down. He's onto his roof. We go on board with the three car to see exactly. Oh, and he gets T-boned there by that four car to beers. Oh, oh, God. What a shame. We're going to have to ride on board with the 48. Tough day for the three car. Got held back, but, uh, don't... Not sure if there's really any blame there. Here's a three car, you know, trying to move out of the way. It's like the same crash from before, though, but with, with, with less drivers. On board with the Bulls cam. The Bulls cam. Yeah, oh, I think that. Uh, wow. Not a great start. Yeah, it 
stops are underway. Stops are underway, and got cars already out of pit road, actually. And your drop hit road will be. Oh, same thing. That seven car, nice. Tucker Baldwin doing a good job from our motors as well up there in second place. The two teams that usually are not really in contention for a win are now in front, as well as that 47 from. Is it JGR? I think that's what it's called, right? No, uh, no that's Joy Racing. Joy Racing, yeah, I thought there's. Alright, uh, I forget what it's called. JGG, that's it. Yeah. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Go, oh, man. Oh, man. This is not but, uh, the. Pierce, the major team, one of the, the first place. Wait Hendrick. a minute! 22's gotta be starting up the front row, something must have happened. You know, he had a wait, he's having a. Whoa. Wave around. Hold up. Three flat. Three the 22 car made it out before, made it back out before the field, and he's having a... Oh, he's a lap down, that's right. He's a lap down, he gets a little wave around there. And there's the glitch of the Fords, they might look damaged, they might look damaged, but that not really. 38 car, lows in on that 7 car, 9 car, trying to make some move here. Zachary Fitzwater. Oh, here we go, baby, yes, here we go. Battle for the lead. For the lead. 30 in the inside. Here they come now. That tree 30 will lead him into turn three. Can he make the pass? Nine car gonna help him, and they will. He'll clear the pass, and it appears he will be your new leader as the seven car falls back into fourth. Yep. And that's that's how you pass your Dover. Here they come. Come at at turn two. Why are the fourth in damage? 15 car for Michael Watcher Brazen in second. Haven't seen, haven't heard much about them all day. The 55 car been involved in some wrecks. Can the counterpart, the 15, pull it out for them today? And Goldberg, truck series driver. I don't know if I'm that series though. It's all up to the viewers. Here they come down the back straightaway here. And looks like a battle for what looked like sixth or something. Oh. That was a really nice fifth place. 40 car of, of uh, Landon Castle's old ride. Bobby Fraser. Yeah, Fraser's doing pretty good. Got the 42 car for uh, Chip Ganassi doing good as well up there in Robert. sixth. There's Kenneth yeah. Arby. Oh, wait. There's Kenneth Arby. Haven't heard from him all day. <laughs> fifth. So next, he is the currently right now. And leader. look at this. Yeah. Malik Nevin. Four. And here it looks like that uh, 22 car will get lapped down again here. Looking at the rest of the field, Joe Gibbs, we got Stuart Haas as well in the mix here. There's this guy who almost won the Coke 600, but once again has that curse going on, Robert Ponder. In a battle for 20, 21st it appears here. 14 will make the pass here, so probably the 10 car as well. That inside, that inside line seems to be doing good for most of these drivers. You get up on that outside, you lose your groove, and you fall back. That's what happened to the 7 car, and it appears the 19 car is also having that same problem. Yep. There's so a teammate of the points leader, Zachary yeah. Fitzwater. He drove the 33 last season, and got fired from RCR, and now moved to Richard Petty Motorsports due to drug substances, apparently. Not nasty businesses there, drug substances. You've seen it happen with but many drugs. But luckily, he had good enough money for getting a lawyer inside. <laughs> they dropped the charges and. Hey, Dad. Do you mind if I put this monitor in your office? Well, I mean, I feel like I'm too big for it, so. Look at this, Peyton, Ben Goldberg with the fire energy Toyota Camry. Must have done something to that car to get up on front. Yeah, must have. Might watch a race and doing that. Let's hope they aren't cheating again. That'd be it. Bad business, if you remember that in Richmond. I was there, Peyton, we know. Yeah, oh, oh, so you did go to that chase race. Yeah, I did. Where they cheated. That was pretty, pretty dumb of Michael Watcher person. 
Brian Vigor was sponsored by LG in that race, apparently. Yeah, and Martin Truex Jr. drove for Napa. <laughs> and guess where they're at? Chase Elliott. <laughs> That's such a new young man. Chase has got a bright future ahead of him. Obviously, you know, he's son of of uh, champion Bill Elliott. But My dad likes Bill Elliott. I think uh, Chase Elliott's got a good good future for him in NASCAR. I think I think it'd be better, you know, not to follow his father's path. But to, well, off his own, obviously, you know, he's driving his number for uh, Junior Motorsports now taking over the 24 will be a big responsibility for uh, him. And D, he's up in 18th right now. It's like the 55, Marcus Martinez. We can they, uh, can I pass on the front so side? That's front row motorsports as well. Yep. That speed stick. Uh, Jordan Fisher. I got a speed stick right next to me. How can the speed stick pry? Here they go. 43, making a little eye, making some sight there. Yep. We make a pass here in a couple laps. 47. Looking, he was just looking. He wasn't gonna make a pass there. I could tell. 22 car got lapped down again. Your leader now pulling up by a couple car lengths now, about about a second it appears. Got lap traffic also in front of him. That gives uh, the 38 car a little bit of an advantage uh, to get away a bit more. Obviously, nine car catching up to the 15 may start looking for a pass here in a bit. 31 still in it with damage. Obviously, still doing good in contention following the. It's been a troubling race for this 38 team so far. Over last week, the 34 Keith Bowen won the Coke 600, so will there be a Bowen Bowen back to back? Peyton? Peyton? Yes, 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 yes. Alright, well, like I said, Keith Bowen, brother of the 38, Bobby Bowen, he actually won the Coke 600 last week. Will he do a turnaround in this race? You know, it all depends. Still got quite a bit of laps left. You got about mm, about 17 laps to go here. Yeah, that, uh, I think the 15 is losing. Now he's trying to catch. Tough turnaround for James Bowles last week. Had a DNF at uh, Coke 600. Had a bad day so far this week. And he's turning around for the team. It's all all up to them. Tyler Markell, 41. Yeah. Did all right for himself. Season 14, Tony Power the champion. And that's his only win so far. And he pulled it around. Trying to get around Robert Ponder. For the viewers out there, got a question. Would you like to see an uh, a Baja Blast All-Star race? I already did that. I uploaded that. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> I got one. Yeah, well, I'm going to probably do a create a track for it. We do shot motor speedway making all blue for it. Not a Baja Blast. As Pit Saucer might be going on right now, so we're gonna, we're might gonna see some uh, cars going in. That's the 15 rolls of the pit road. A lot of drivers going in pit road here. This is a great opportunity to get some laps in, get some points in too if you're uh, if you're staying out, leading the field here. His stretch is going to be important here. It's taking two tires with four times. Alright. Got it. Stuart Off Racing, how have they done uh, so far this season, James? Well, it's been iffy. Been iffy? Yeah. So far, been doing pretty good in the regular Sprint Cup Series season and the Baja Don't Black. Don't talk about the real one in front of me. Except Kurt Busch. Fuck Carvey. <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite driver on that team is Kurt Busch. Second had to be Tony Stewart. Why? Because he's a woman beater? Oh, God. <laughs> That's oh, just not true. No, this push is awesome. Yeah. 
Uh, they're, they're, they're both whack jobs. Let's just put it there. His his girlfriend was a whack job, and he's a little bit of a whack job himself. So. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. says the one. Hey, says the one you commented about AJ Armandinger. What I say about AJ Armandinger? I ain't, what about his girlfriend? I don't even know if he had a girlfriend. Oh, I saw I saw what she looked like on the 100,000 camera video episode. Talladega, she was filming him. I saw, I saw. Her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she she's pretty good. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm trying to find our leader, the 38. Yeah. Hope we got a caution probably. Wait, what? Oh, almost a little contact by the 20, the 32 with the 38. We're here trying to make some passes here with the bouts. Get to see the less the big information thing in the way. We got, ooh, we got seven laps to go here at Dover. A tank car looking to try to get back on the lead lap here. On, on the back bumper of the 38. This is not good if you, you know. And he's gonna make the inside pass to get back on the lead lap. Pretty plain dirty there. It's a uh, 38. Should just let him go. But now that now it's far ahead, about two and a half seconds. I don't think he pitted yet, though. You do not think you? I don't think. Well, that's always up to see here. You got about six laps to go now here at Dover. Nine car in second place, the 24 and third. He's about a second and a, about a second and a half from second place, and about see about three and a half from first place. Yeah, getting third place finish always is a good thing for uh, your Hendrick uh, Motorsports dominating so far this season. Man, look at this. All these drivers are trying to play dirty just to get on the lead lap. Eleven car making the move. We're trying to Make screw him over, screw the leader over in this race. And that was his teammate by in the 35. Fernandez gonna block the 43 car. That's the points three. leader. Three laps to go here now. For be back on the lead lap, he may not be the points leader after this race. So they go down the back straightaway here into turn three. Maybe trying to conserve fuel. It's a uh, one of the things we haven't been paying attention to. We have he hasn't hit it yet. We don't really know. But if he's trying to conserve fuel, he's doing a good job at that. Letting all these left hand cars go. With two laps remaining here, ten car made a pass on the twenty two. Earlier we saw him behind. Don't the, know if the nine has time to get around towards his uh towards him. Though. Nine car trying to make the pass around that thirty four. I believe that's where it was. Ten car making the pass in the Looking third. Looking at race. the speeds for the lap cars and the uh, leader, I think he's conserving fuel when we're coming to the white flag this time by. Yep. Oh, yep. This time by, here they come down the back straightaway. Twenty-two car still far behind. Nine cars got got to pump it up if he wants to get ahead, but it will not be enough. Here they come, starting to the front straightaway. White flag this time by. Bobby Bone. Oh. Oh, he's something that his brother did win the Dover race, but this time the Bone Brothers will go two in a row at Dover. Coke 600, won by Keith Bone, the 34. 38, Bobby Bone, Dover, coming to the turn number four. Bobby Bone, with the impressive victory for his family, Bobby Bone wins it at Dover. Nine car second, 24 car third. Great job by both those teams today. And Great job for Front Row Motorsports. Yep. Right, they have won their first race of the season, is it? Second race. Second race of the season. Wow. Doing good. These these uh, small teams are doing dominating this season. Kenneth Arby not having a bad run so far. Third finish for him. Simple third place yeah. finish. Impressive. On to your final results, Bobby Bone takes the victory in Dover, Zachary fifth, to water second, Kenneth Darby third, fourth is Ryan Robert Goldberg, fifth is the uh, Walpole brother in the 47, I don't know which one it is. Bobby Fraser, sixth, seventh, Cameron Garlington, eighth, Ryan Long, Rusty Long, 
night, Eric Powers, and head to Marcus Martinez. Not a bad uh, run out with the 55 after being involved in a couple wrecks. Indeed. That was a great, great run today by all these teams. Yeah, and all to victory lane. Oh, Bobby Fraser takes the points lead. Yeah. Oh, we're going to Pocono. You up for another race? Uh, I gotta go warm up my dishwasher is what the executive board says. Well, see y'all at Pocono.